this series I'm taking Minecraft back to how it once was. I'm enjoying the game rather than rushing overpowered armor and tools. In the first episode I built myself this starter house next to this beautiful oasis. Today I will build a farming paradise with a windmill surrounded by a ton of farmland. This is Minecraft Survival Episode 2. Let's go! But let me show you around inside. This is the insides. I haven't built any sort of interior work so far. And now here is my cat. Who you guys were meant to name. And it was pretty close between Mike and Tim. So I'm gonna flip a coin for your name. <laughs> Tails. So, your name is Mike. I'm gonna start this episode out with moving all of my stuff into the house. I'm thinking we have the storage down here in the basement. We don't have any floor though, so let me quickly place all these stone bricks in. And now the storage room is kinda done. Like, this is all the storage I need right now. So we're not gonna do anything else with it right now. So what are my goals for this episode? I want to get a name tag for Mike, gather spruce wood, and build my windmill. First, I try to get a name tag for Mike. Ta -da! How long will it take to get name tag? Let us see. Oh, I already found a better fishing rod. One breaking three. Maybe we get overpowered fishing rod. Got a water bottle. Let me go ahead and I'll drink it. So even after fishing for the entire night and day, I did not find any name tags, unfortunately. But we did get a lot of fish. There's a resource I really need, and that is spruce logs. I haven't found any spruce wood at all in this series so far, and we need to find that very, very fast. I think I'm gonna try and go ahead of this village, see if what is beyond this horizon. Of course, Mike is with me, so we also have many horses around this area. This is why I also wanted to fish. Maybe get a saddle? I didn't get a saddle, though. Pretty sad. And guys, if you're enjoying this series, make sure to comment on the video let's see if we can get 1000 comments let's do a simple right mike is cool this is gonna help boost the video on the youtube algorithm and make sure to drop a like as well there is a shipwreck okay uh buried treasure this is the oh yes i found a diamond that is the first diamond in this series i'm gonna put it in my offhand because i can you guys have responded to the rules i have for this series which is no f3 no sleeping and no armor i do agree that no armor is you know maybe a little too harsh i don't want overpowered armor because that just takes away the dangers of the game but i could definitely imagine that we have some criteria that i need to solve until i can wear armor or something like that i think i'm also gonna go ahead and kill all these cows also these sheep also something i'm definitely gonna need for my windmill is wool i'm gonna shear the sheep that i find instead of killing them no reason to kill them sheep paradise this is some interesting terrain we are coming up to oh yeah i think i finally found it up here in the distance there is spruce now i just need to bring some saplings home and then i can start producing it at my base yeah, i'm gonna get to chopping I need at least four saplings, then I should go home. But let us see. Okay, we already have four. Maybe I should get eight so we can make two giant trees. There we go, boys. We are gonna go home. And now the question is, how do I get home? There's so many monsters everywhere. Okay, I re recognize this. Yeah, I remember that lava fall over there. I ran and ran. Whoa! Oh my god, he spooked me. I was lost. Where was my home? Luckily, I realized I had this buried treasure map laying around. This was gonna help me find my home. But let's go find this buried treasure that I definitely forgot all about. Come on, Mike. We're going over the ocean. Wait a minute. There's a mushroom island. Oh, it's this one. And oh my god. Look at how much diamond we found here. We found four. You leave me alone, treasure map. You have been good use to me. Okay, we keep going. I still really don't know where I am or where I'm going. Okay, so we have a wandering trader here. More obsidian. Is this the shipwreck that I had found before? Okay, we're almost home now. The village is here. We made it back alive. So cool thing is when it's raining, you have more probability of actually, you know, catching a fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish a little while it's actually raining. I got an enchanted bow with infinity. So that was that fishing rod. We didn't find any name tags either today. Guess this will be a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna place these giant trees out here in the desert because then it won't corrupt to the normal grass. Place four dirt and then the saplings. And I'll do two of these. Okay, here's that creeper away. Thank you. What I'm gonna do immediately is plant like a lot more farms. Because to make this windmill, I want like a giant wheat field like beside it all the way around it. For that, I need way more seeds than I have. Let's get my hoes and hoe all this land. Let's build a third one. And while I'm waiting on all the seeds to grow and all my trees to grow, I'm gonna start flattening the area where I'm gonna build the windmill. So I'm gonna build it around here. We're gonna turn all of this sand into dirt. First, we also gotta flatten this part here. All right, so that is that terrain fixed. Oh wait, 
give me a second. There we go. My trees are still not growing. Gonna spend some time clearing out all of these trees here. I'm gonna do this to get wood, but also because I now wanna make myself a sheep pen. I need a lot of wool for this build here. So now I mine down all of these trees and look what has grown up here. And of course we replant these trees immediately. Now I made two simple animal pens. One for sheep and one for cows. I don't actually think I want more sheep than what I have right now because this is easy like to get a lot of wool but it's not so many that they remove all of the grass i swear to god he always sits on the chest stop my you are closing my <laughs> opportunity i swear to god he always goes on the chest i'm gonna clear all of these sunflowers why are they so tiny these are like the smallest spruce trees i've seen i feel like my spruce farm is now actually sufficient so now i'm gonna get so many trees that you know i'm not gonna run out of spruce anymore that is the important thing so it is time to start building this windmill i'm gonna place it to start right here i wonder how big we should make it ah uh, should we make it smaller go hard or go home Actually, this is way too big. <laughs> okay, so this will actually still be pretty massive, but it's not gonna be too massive. Thing that actually saves a lot of time when building is actually sprinkle in the decorations while you're building it. So I know the general idea of this is gonna be stone at the bottom here for the foundation. And since I know that, like, it's easier for me to just sprinkle it in throughout, then I don't have to mine it all down later and rebuild it. Now we start going up. I think we're gonna go two up on each of these pillars. Then I need some more resources. The resources I need are some birch logs. Also need some oak trap dolls. And this birch here I'm gonna use as the walls. This birch we're going to be stripping. It's gonna have some nice texture against the spruce. Now that we're already stripping I might as well also strip the spruce. I might as well also make the window just now. So yeah something like this then we're gonna have a lantern up here and a stair down here. Now I need some more birch. So far so good. I already know that I need a lot of spruce stairs. These are gonna be placed all the way around here. Also place a stair here. Something I realized was that from my trip I got obsidian and also diamonds. Now if we take my paper that I have, smash it together with a letter, we can make a book and ultimately an enchanting table. Definitely want an enchanting table, it's gonna help me get some better tools. The reason why I want this is actually to upgrade a fishing rod because I'm not finding a name tag. I just want to give Mike a name tag. And up here we're gonna place the enchanting table. And now we have a full enchanting table up here. Now can I get a good fishing rod? Okay, we can get unbreaking three. We don't want unbreaking three. Can we get something good on a shovel maybe so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and remove one of these so let's see we get lure two that is not good enough we can get a fortune three which would definitely help me get more resources i think that's actually a really good uh, diamond pickaxe i should get wait now it's only fortune two let's do it on an iron pickaxe then then i get fortune three and i keep getting more birch do another layer here of some spruce of course strip all of it then we keep going up i'm gonna do five again okay sorry mike you quickly have to go down Start adding a few more details here for a little more texture and depth to the build. Now we're about ready to start building the windmill in itself. With phantoms flying overhead, I kept working on the windmill. I am actually very scared up here. <laughs> if I fall here, I'm seriously in danger. I think something that I'm gonna do is make a bed. This isn't necessarily to sleep, it's just to set my respawn point. Oh! Where do you come from? Where do you go? Up here at the top, we're just gonna do some simple spruce blocks here. And this is where the windmill will be. But before we really get to work on that, let's first place all of these stairs. So a windmill is not actually the easiest thing to build. I'm gonna build this with the fences and the wool. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't take fall damage, man. We're gonna do something similar, although a little bit different now here on the other side. How does this look so far? I feel like it needs to be bigger with the size I have for this windmill so far. Hello, sheep. Mike, don't push me. Oh! Ah, I am an idiot, guys. I don't know how to, <laughs> how I'm meant to do this. I mean, I do, but that was stupid. I need to do this the opposite way. Get more wool, get more wool. Definitely starting to look like something. So I think easily so far, we can at least add another layer to this. So it's a little thicker. Okay, why does that look so goofy? I'm gonna try and remove all of the scaffolding. See how it looks. I think that actually doesn't look too bad. I think maybe I need to make it one wider on this side. Because it seems a little small, like in the width. So I'm gonna do one more layer here. Boom. Then do the final layer there we go but before we really finish up this windmill we gotta do the fields of weed all the way around it i definitely think we need to cover up this entire little pond here i can definitely tell that i need a lot of dirt to fill out these holes here so let us get to digging
I don't think I'm gonna make this circle entirely, you know, symmetrical. So I can just have some uh, creative fun here. It's also just gonna make it a lot easier for me because I can just, you know, mess around and do it however I want to. Ah, there goes another iron hoe. I think this might also be the time that I harvest all my weed. Because we need to start planting this. Oh my god, so satisfying. Let us place this all back. With this entire farmland replanted, let's see how much we can place here at the windmill. We almost did all of the land here, so I think I want to fill this in with some grass here. We're not gonna fill in everything, that would take too much dirt. So something like this, now we can definitely take this all the way around it. Now we have tiled all of this land. Now we just have to wait on all of these seeds to grow, harvest them and then plant it all. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna finish up this windmill. At the floor here, we're gonna have some stone. So a floor, something like this. Now we got yet another room here, and this leads me up to the final room here. Now I just gotta build a roof here at the top, and then the windmill is done. We definitely wanna use some stairs up here. There are some planks. And then to add a little more texture here at the top, we're gonna add some trapdoors up here. And up here we have the final room. Very, very cool. The important thing is the windmill in itself, and that is easier to see from this side. Oh, pfft. Let's also grab some fences and place it around all of this farming area. I'm gonna go ahead and get a lot more wood here. Well, it's gonna place some trapdoors here over the water so I don't fall in. Also get some slabs here so I can go up and down easier. And now we pretty much just have to wait on all of this to grow. Well, after time, let's go ahead and breed all these cows. I'm gonna make a little simple path here. So something very simple like this looks nice. And it's a beautiful day here by the windmill. We just have to finish up this farming area. Oh man. There's a creeper. Oh man. hi -ya! After placing all the seeds, I had to wait on it to grow. I had one goal left though. Get a name tag for Mike. So I tried to enchant a fishing rod, then went fishing for a whole day. Holy moly, I just got a good bow. I'm sorry Mike, I didn't find a name tag for you today either. But I think most of the seeds have now grown. Just look at this. But now the windmill is done. What do you guys think about the first windmill I've ever built in Minecraft? I think it turned out pretty nice. Looks good. Also with the farming area around it. This was a very successful episode of Minecraft Survival. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.